Today I'll be showing you my copy of the Grand Theft Auto games. Now disclaimer, I do not own all of them, unfortunately, but I'll show you what I own. Starting with Grand Theft Auto Vice City for the PS2. This was the first 3D Grand Theft Auto game that I played and I was blown away. Uh, I have, yeah, I have no idea how many hours I sank into this game. All I remember is that me playing this game highly affected my, my academic performance. Anyway, let's take a look inside, right? So, starting from the get-go, this PS2 case also has one of these memory card holders. Uh, in case you want to bring your, you know, your saved games to your friend's house, play and whatnot. Um, but yeah, there's a DVD ROM, right? The Grand Theft Auto Vice City, it's still in perfect condition, as you can see there. Okay, now on the left, uh, you get a few things. Starting from the bottom of the pile, uh, obviously this is the um, uh, register online uh, registration card. Um, there it is. It is a UK uh, address because, you know, obviously uh, games that we get in New Zealand uh, mainly come from, uh, from the UK. Right. Uh, there's also a poster that also that doubles as a map. So let me open it up. Uh, there it is. Right. We, there we go. There's a poster. Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Hopefully, hopefully you guys can see that. There we are. All right. And on the back is actually the map uh, of Vice City. There we go. Right. And all the different um, uh, places, uh, key places. Okay. On the back there. Also the bottom, uh, the Vice City sites as well, down here. All right. There we are, so that's the poster. Now the, the booklet uh, is actually a tourist guide, I guess. Well, it, it's been designed as a like, tourist guide for Vice City. Well, there it is, it's nice and pink. Uh, there's the back of it. Um, but basically gives you, um, tells you everything you need to know, um, you know, about playing the game. Getting started, uh, the controllers, uh, the facts about the Vice City. I mean, back then, um, when was this? Around 2099, 2000, 2001, this game was huge. I mean, the, the amount of activities that you can do in this game was mind-blowing. For its time, right? But yeah. Uh, where to go, crime, hospitals, uh, areas of interest, places to stay, entertainment and nightlife, um, shopping, local businesses, local news, love fist, uh, and all the places where you can, um, you know, do all your business, um, radio, Vice City has had some of the best radio uh, in any game, right? well for me, any, at least, uh, personnel, and uh, yeah. So there it is, that is Grand Theft Auto Vice City, right, and just in case you're wondering what the back looks like, which I forgot to show you, there it is, it is R18, okay? Alright, next up uh, is Grand Theft Auto 4, here we are. Okay, so when this game first came out in New Zealand, there was quite a bit of controversy surrounding it. This is mainly because we were getting the censored version, which stems from the Australian classification system. So, back then, over there, if a game is deemed too intense for 15-year-olds, then the game is often censored, heavily censored, uh, or in extreme cases, outrightly banned. Now, I don't know how it is, how it is in Australia now with, you know, with gaming classifications, but that was um, what it was back then. This is around, what is this, 2000 and eight nine I guess when was that yeah 2008 2009 okay now New Zealand on the other hand has an has an R18 classification but for whatever reason we got whatever the Australians got so one Kiwi got creative and decided to import the game himself themselves straight from Europe and thanks to them I got my copy which is right here on my hands now, how can I prove that this copy is the uncut, uncensored version? Well, if we take a look at the region code at the back of the case, it clearly says 2. Number 2 is for, you know, Europe, South Africa, Japan, etc. Which is the uncut and uncensored version. While Australia and New Zealand are normally under region 4, which is the censored version. Now remember, 
Even though the PS3 is region free and can play games from any region, the game content may differ from region to region. So hence why I got region 2. Okay? Alright. Now, let's see what's inside. Oh, there we go. So inside, obviously, you have the Blu-ray disc on the side here. Right? And on the left, uh, we have two things. Right? We have, uh, I'll show you the guide first, right? The guide to uh, Liberty City. Okay, place the, uh, your guide to places, rest, entertainment, restaurants, and bars. Uh, that is the inside. All right, uh, game controls. Okay, uh, and also going back to the game controls, you can also use the six axis features to um, uh, to do all sorts uh, of things. You, um, you know, in the helicopter, you can pitch and roll, bike, boat, you know, uh, reload, dart boxing, etc. All right. And uh, there it is. Welcome to Liberty City. Right, uh, sightseeing, uh, touchy Tuesdays, clubs and whatnot. Uh, restaurant guide, burger shot, uh, bar guide, pisswasser, and the credits. Right, Rockstar North, and those are the um, credits for the for the radio. And yeah. Pages and notes, right? But there it is. There is the guidebook or the booklet. Now, the other thing you get is a map of Liberty City that also doubles as a subway map. So let's open it up and I'll show you. Okay, so this is a little bit big, so bear with me. Right, so here we are. There is the map for Liberty City. Okay, there it is. It's, it's, it's pretty big, so um, yeah, there we are. Uh, you've got the map legend on the left here, and all the different, um, you know, uh, points of interest, um, you know, uh, on the map, uh, all the different neighborhoods on the bottom right here, and beyond Liberty City, Liberty City sites, etc. Okay, and like I said, on the back, this is the subway map for Liberty City. Okay, so there we are, hopefully you can see that. Okay, subway station, and then, you know, still there's a quick reference uh, on the bottom. Uh, for controllers and vehicle on foot and then getting around facts as well on the bottom left, All right? But there it is That is the um, uh, the other thing that you get inside the uh, the case All right, so that is Grand Theft Auto 4 I I also forgot to mention that the retailer I bought this game from only had the platinum edition Because I think by the time I did the research and found them they only had the platinum version, uh, but you know, I'm not complaining. Got to play the uncut version, right? But here it is. So that is Grand Theft Auto uh, 4 for the PS3. Next game in the list is Grand Theft Auto Episodes from Liberty City. Uh, this contains two games, The Lost and the Damned and The Ballad of Gay Tony. All right, there we are on the back. Okay. Uh, also, uh, to note as well, uh, this is also region 4, so no more, you know, censoring or censored debacle with this game. Uh, and also, this is a standalone game, which means, as printed on the back, you do not need to have Grand Theft Auto 4 to play this game, right? Not required to, uh, to play, okay? There it is. Uh, inside, obviously, we have the Blu-ray disc, which contains both games, so you, you get to choose um, on, on the uh, main screen. Uh, there is a booklet. Right there, it is. It's uh, it's quite it's quite thick actually. This one uh, inside it, we have you know the usual setting up, Lost in the Damned, Ballad of Gay Tony, and uh, you know a bit of story there. Uh, Rockstar North and all the different um, radios. Right. Okay. And there is also a map of Liberty City Underground that also doubles as a poster. So let me show you that. So if we open this up, there we go. Uh, there it is, Liberty City Underground. All right, and uh, all the different neighborhoods, uh, Alderney, Algonquin, Bohan, Duke, Sproker. Uh, there's a map legend on the top right. Oh, hopefully you can see that, there it is. Sorry, sorry about the awkward um, angles. Uh, and then on the back, obviously, there is a poster. All right, there we go. Okay. So that is 
my copy of Liberty episodes from Liberty City. Okay, there it is. Let me put it on that side. Right. Finally, we have Grand Theft Auto V, but this time this is the collector's edition. All right. Now, just to um, uh, compare this, if you if you're wondering how big the box is, uh, again with the PS3 case, there it is. That's how big the box is. Right. And there's a PS3 case. And that's how big it is. It's pretty decent. And I'll show you why. Okay. Okay, so there's a box. Uh, nothing special, I guess. It just says collector's edition in the front. That's the image on the side there. Image on the back. Uh, you know, the details are on the bottom there. And obviously, again, this is region 4. By the time, you know, this came out, there's, you know, yeah, um, all that censoring um, issue. That was never a problem. Right? There it is. Okay, let's open it up. Okay, so this is going to be a little uh, tricky because there is another box inside of this box. So I'm going to take this off camera and I'm going to open it up. We're almost there. And there it is. There is the box inside of the box. Okay, now this box here, it's, it's really nice. It's got a matte look to it. Uh, it's, it's just, it's just a you know, regular black box. The only two markings is on the top. It's got the an embossed GTA Grand Theft Auto 5 logo, as you can see there. Um, hopefully, there it is. It's embossed. And on the bottom, it's got the Rockstar logo. Right? And that's that's the only two markings uh, that's there. Okay? Now, let's open it up. So, if we take off the cover... Okay, I'll show it to you in this, uh, in this one. There it is. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take out this foam insert. All right, there it is. Take that out of the way. And I'm going to show you, first of all, the game. All right. So, the game comes inside of a steel case, as you can see here. Right, it's very nicely made. It's got a shine to it. Uh, again, so it's... Uh, uh, there it is. If we open it up... That's the inside. There's a Blu-ray disc, right? Let's take it out and see what's what's behind it. Rockstar Games Federal Reserve System, as you can see there. There's the image. Okay, and then uh, obviously you get a you get a few things in here. Uh, the first thing you get, and again, I will start from the bottom. Uh, we have a DLC code for the collector's edition, and it gives you several things. It gives you uh, bonus outfits, tattoos, and more. Stunt plane trial, special ability boost, unique vehicles and garage. Uh, custom characters, additional weapons, and fly the atomic blimp. All right, so the code is printed on the back there. Okay, that's number one that you get. The second thing is obviously the booklet or the guidebook, right, for Grand Theft Auto V. And there's nothing really in it besides, you know, the usual you know, health warning, etc. And then there's um, the controls, right, uh, in vehicle and on foot. And that's it, technical support and a social club. And that, that, that's all you get in the booklet. The other thing, the last thing that we get, is a map of Blaine County and Los Santos. So let's open up, now this is, again, this is pretty big, so um, hopefully you can see all this. Let me uh, take this box out of the way so you can see um, what it looks like. Right. Okay, so this is the city of Los Santos. This is the map, right, there it is, it's, it's, it's quite big, hopefully you can see that. Okay, all the different um, areas, the surrounding towns, you've got shopping activities, local service, entertainment, and points of interest, including Plato Bay. Okay, there's an airport, uh, and let's see if I can uh, get this thing a little bit closer to you guys. There we go, there we go. You've got sandy shores, grape seed, and all of that. And on the back is a map of the whole Blaine County. Well, Blaine County and Los Santos County, down the bottom, right? There we are. Okay, it's quite decent and, uh, yeah. And so, very nice. Okay, so that's in, that is inside the game. Okay, inside this. Alright, so I'm going to put, put it right there. Okay. Now, the next thing that we get, I'll show you that inside of the box, the next thing that we get is this blueprint map of Blaine County. Now, this shows you all of the safe house houses location. Uh, you can also see the fast cash and custom rides scattered throughout the map. 
All right, so let's uh, see that now. If we open this up, uh, where are we? There we go. Oh, this one's even bigger. Uh, it is one-sided, I believe, so it, there's only one side that, you know, that, that has anything. Uh, the back of it is just, you know, it's just blue. Uh, oops, it's just blue, right? But the front shows you this. So like I said, this is a map of Blaine County. There it is, right? And on the bottom there, uh, as you can see, hopefully you can read that, it says safe houses, fast cash, and custom rides. And they're all dotted around the map, wherever they are. Okay, right there. Alright, so that's a blueprint map. Underneath the blueprint map, let me bring the box back again, is a key. This is the GTA 5, the Grand Theft Auto 5 key. It's laser, it's uh it's it's etched as well, it's laser cut, right? Grand Theft Auto 5. This is used to open and lock the security deposit bag. Now, where is that? It's actually underneath this. And you can see here also, um, you know, the five, the Roman numeral five is also um, cut into, uh, you know, pressed into here. It's, it's a nice touch, right? So let's take out this plastic mold. Okay, there it is. And beneath that, we get a cap. And also beneath that is where the lockbox is. Okay, so I'll take it off. Now I'll take it out and hopefully, uh, you can see this, actually it's a, it's a bit big, so there we go, let's put this on that side, get this out of the way, and there it is, right, the cap and the lockbox. So, I'm going to take all these out and I'll show you what it looks like, okay, so bear with me, I'm going to take the bag out and then let's take off, uh, let's take off the cap as well, while we Can I take it out? Yes, I can. There we go. Take that plastic out of the way. Okay. So, security lock, uh, the security deposit bag, right, and the cap. Okay. Uh, this is a, uh, what is this called? I think, I believe it is called the New Era 950 snapback cap. Right, correct me if I'm wrong, but there it is. Uh, I've never, this is actually, the second or third time I've ever taken this cap and the security deposit box out of the box. So, um, yeah, count yourselves lucky. All right, this is uh, nicely done. We've got the GTA 5 logo there on the side. Um, there it is, and we open it up. Uh, yeah, one size fits all. Oh, there's a new, yeah, new era. Uh, yeah, there we are. All right. I think this is uh, similar to the one that Franklin wears in the game. <laughs> Could be wrong. Anyway, so that's the cap. You've also got here the security deposit bag. Okay, there we are. Well, um, obviously this is pretty heavy because it's it is metal. Uh, if you don't believe me, let's open up the key and there it is. Right, and on the back you can also put your you know your your business card uh, insert here. Uh, but there it is. It's a, it's it's nice. Um, yeah, it's it's nicely made. Uh, but yeah, to open this up, right? So there's a key there. Okay, you insert the key in here. You twist it, and this pops up, right? As you can see there. So that's locked, and that is open. And now you can open up the bag and put in your money inside. There's nothing inside. You don't get any actual money. But uh, yeah, that's the inside of it. Uh, it is also well made. If you um, want to close it up again, close this. Make sure this sits underneath, um, you know, this little lock here, and just press it down. And that, once that happens, you won't be able to open it. Well, not without brute force, anyway. Okay, but uh, yeah, there it is. There it is. There is the cap and the security deposit bag. And look, that is it uh, for my Grand Theft Auto collection. Let me tell you, I cannot wait until Grand Theft Auto 6 comes out. And I hope, hope, hope there is a um, collector's edition out there so I can uh, pre-order one. And I'll, uh, I'll show you. Also, um, there is a, remember, there is a Grand Theft Auto 4 collector's edition that comes with, a, I believe, a security, a metal security deposit bag and a duffel, uh, sorry, a metal security box and a duffel bag, if I'm not mistaken. I did find one. 
but it was for Xbox, and I, yeah, I kind of don't do Xbox games. I have a few, but I prefer my games to be in PlayStation, uh, on, on, on the PlayStations. But if I, if I do find it again and I'm able to buy it, I will buy it and I'll add it to this collection. And I'll probably add, you know, do another video. Anyway, as always, thanks for watching. Uh, hit that like button and uh, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.